Hi guys, I hope you can hear me. Yes, we can hear. Great. I'm just sharing my screen. Hi, Venkata. Uh, Chetrika has actually attended yesterday also. Uh, yesterday is our first demo. And uh, as you are new to our demo sessions, let me just introduce myself quickly. I'm Divya. I have about eight plus years of experience into data analytics. I'm currently working as a senior data analyst in, uh, of, uh, in one of the MNCs in Hyderabad. I completed my, I completed my master's in data science and I have experience in, you know, uh, data analytics or data science training concepts. Uh, you know, I'll explain the subjects like SQL, Tableau, Power BI, Python, statistics, and machine learning. So this is about me, and as is our Tableau class. So yesterday, I just gave a small introduction about the Tableau. Uh, we discussed about some Tableau products which we have, and we discussed about. You know, we saw the user interface of Tableau, which we will again see in today's class also. But before that, uh, Venkata, could you please let me tell you about your, I mean, could you please tell me about yourself, like a little bit, uh, whether are you from IT background or non-IT background? Do you have a SQL knowledge like that? Yeah, sure. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hi, Divya. Uh, so... I'm working as a, a statistical programmer for almost the uh, last uh, four or five years. Okay. But uh, as part of the statistical analysis, I'm more into programming, but never into uh, data visualization or uh, using any of the tools. Because okay. mostly uh, I'm confined to using R or Python for the basic programming purpose, even for the visualization. Uh, but uh, the current trend and uh, me. Okay, you are looking forward to learn the Tableau tool, right? Yes, uh, Tableau for visualization purpose. Okay, okay, I got it. Perfect. So as you are also already working, you have a good knowledge on SQL also, right? Yes. Perfect. So actually, uh, you know, we need to have some, uh, you know, at least some knowledge to learn Tableau. That is a concept why I will ask. Of course, we will cover some uh, SQL Server basics also in this course. Okay, so before starting, let me just show you once the course content. Yesterday also I was unable to show the course content as we are done with the time. Let me first show the course content. And after uh, that, we will just start our actual class. One second. This is a course content which we are going to cover in our class. Uh, so yesterday also I explained very quickly, uh, right, Chaturika, let me just uh, show you once again clearly. First introduction to Tableau, Tableau features, Tableau products. You know, basically normal, uh, you know, how we will implement Tableau in real world kind of thing. Next, user interface of Tableau desktop, installation of Tableau desktop, data types in Tableau how we will generate tableau reports by using various types of data sources or files available and next what is measures and dimensions continuous and discrete data these are some options which we have in the tableau desktop we will see each one of them detailing next tableau architecture sql server basics concept with installation of sql server generating tableau reports from sql server Next, what is data warehouse and what is the difference between database and data warehouse? Because in Tableau, we will also deal with data warehouse concepts as well. That means, uh, yeah. So next, understanding real-time database. I will use one database here. And for the same, we will use that uh, data warehouse also. We will just try to see how we will restore that database in the SQL server level and how we will connect that to the Tableau level and we will work on that database. Next, Tableau connections, Tableau access. Up to here, I can say basics of Tableau. Okay, from here, advanced concepts will start like joins, 
I will explain if you are completely new. I will explain first what are all the joints we have and how we will perform joints in SQL Server level. And then we will see in Tableau level how we will perform the joints. Next, data blending, filters in Tableau, Tableau actions, hierarchy. We are having one concept called as parameters, Tableau parameters. How we will create and how we will use parameters. Basically, how we will create dynamic Tableau graphs. Right? Uh, because we know we will, in real time, we will work with, you know, what we call live data only, right? So once we connect to it, suppose yesterday or today also we'll create some graphs. So all the graphs, whatever we are creating will be like static graph. But suppose if we connect it to our client's database, that live database, whenever, you know, however that new data comes into the database, that data have to, you know, have to create a graphs dynamically, have whenever some new data gets into the database, have to, create graphs in such a way that uh, you know that data should uh, affect or that data should uh, you know get inserted into the tableau graphs also that is one concept uh, we will call it as dynamic graphs for using uh, for creating dynamic graphs we will use some concepts called as sets sets and parameters together we will see detail in our course and we will learn everything very practically next visualizations concept we are having some uh, inbuilt graphs 24 types of graphs available in Tableau. We will see each and every graph practically. Along with that, uh, inbuilt graphs, we are having some advanced graphs. We will learn each and every graph, advanced graph also. The donut chat, funnel chat, waterfall chat, lollipop chat, word cloud chat, like that. We are having some advanced graph. Next, as it Tableau sets, sets using parameters. Tableau groups. Next, we are having something called as Tableau calculated fields. And inside calculated fields, we'll use some Tableau functions. So what is that? What are all the uh, functions we are having? How we will use calculated fields? Everything we will see. Next, drop lines, trend lines, forecasting lines. Uh, not only, you know, no, not only we will create the data from the past data, we will even forecast the data, like how our sales will be for the next six months, for the next one year, like that. To just uh, create such graphs, we'll use one concept called as forecasting. How, what is this drop line, trend line, how we are create trends of, within the data, how we will forecast the data, everything we will see. Next, Tableau dashboards. Mainly, we will use dashboards only in real time, right? So we will deal with Tableau dashboards. Once we are learning, once we are done learning all the concepts, then we will start understanding Tableau dashboards, how we will create Tableau dashboards, everything we will see practically. Next, Tableau stories. These are two important things which we use frequently in real time, Tableau dashboards and Tableau stories. Next, Tableau online. Not only Tableau desktop, we are having some products. I'll just give you a small, uh, I mean, I'll explain you in a while. So we are having some Tableau pro products called as Tableau online. So being a Tableau developer or data analyst, we uh, we all will have our own Tableau online account. So I will show you how we will create a Tableau online account by using Tableau cloud. And then within that Tableau online account, we can uh, do so many things like, suppose imagine that we created one graph or we created one dashboard. Now we want to share that dashboard to anyone of our maybe colleagues, maybe to the clients or someone else. So obviously how we will share that graph, we need to have our own account. We will log into that account and from that account we will share. Again, while sharing also, we'll have so many options there. Like, you know, how we will uh, suppose imagine how uh, whenever we are sharing any file from Google Drive to anyone, we will give some access permissions there, right? So we will decide that file, whatever we are sharing, sharing, whether we are giving complete edit permissions or only view, that is read only permissions like that. In the same way, so in Tableau also, whenever we are sharing our dashboards to anyone, we will just decide or we will just give some access permissions. For that, we'll have a concept called as site roles. Uh, so in uh, whenever we are joined in any project also, in that project, uh, they will just decide according to our position, according to our work, they will decide the site roles. Like who, uh, you know, uh, or else whenever we are sharing also, who users can able to edit the graphs, who users can able to, you know, we're having so many options in that, not only editing and uh, viewing options. So accordingly, we will give that user permissions and we will share that. So everything we will see very practically in this concepts that is Tableau Online and Tableau Server.
and in the in again in the tableau server we are having so many concepts like something like you know we will create some kind of uh, schedulings and we will give some alerts ordering publishing subscriptions everything we will learn very practically okay next tableau prep tableau prep is you know another tool as how we are having not only tableau desktop in our course along with the tableau desktop we will learn we are having this many products just in a while i'll explain you what are all the products we have in tableau so that products is tableau online is one product tableau server is one product and tableau prep is also another product we will cover all these products in our course so whenever we are you know along with the tableau desktop if we have knowledge on this products that will be like you know added advantage for us and that will just uh, increase the weightage of our resumes so tableau server also tableau server is used by tableau administrators as you know in every role we will have developers and administrators along with the administrators we developers will also use tableau server to ex to some extent so i'll explain each and everything what what all the options will have in the tableau server what is the admin part and what is the developer part uh, what kind of uh, you know operations or functionalities will have in the tableau server what we will do everything we will learn very practically okay next tableau prep this is also one tool this is a kind of uh, you know etl tool i can say etl is nothing but extraction transformation and loading we are having so many etl tools in the market right so for tableau we will have our own product called as tableau prep okay so we will learn tableau prep uh, by basically what we'll do in the tableau prep in the sense suppose before uh, starting you know our visualizations or before analyzing the data if we want to clean the data suppose we may have some duplicate values we may have some uh, null values in our data we may have some outliers what is outliers we will discuss uh, it later so like that if we have any any such kind of things or else if we want to clean the data to some extent or else not only cleaning data in tableau prep we are having so many functionalities basically by using this we are just preparing our data we are cleaning our data we'll have so many cleaning steps over there so once we we are just making sure we are uh, you know just preparing or cleaning our data and after that once our uh, you know data is ready then we will connect that data to the tableau desktop or tableau server and then we will start creating graphs so basically tableau prep is one tool which we will use to you know maybe for the cleaning purpose of the data okay that is it again uses etl or operations only it will extract the data from any data source okay then we will transform the data accordingly whatever we want however we want to clean however we want to make we will just transform the data and then we will load that data back to the tableau desktop that is one tool we will see everything very practically next tableau bins is one another concept which we have so this are all the concepts which we will cover in this course okay along with this at the end we will discuss one real time dashboard that is from hr analytics uh, domain we will discuss one dashboard from scratch so one second guys so this is the dashboard uh, at the end once we are done with all the concepts obviously in real time we will create dashboards like this very technically so we will see how we will create this dashboard this kind of dashboard from scratch okay so this uh, this we will do at the end before that we will cover all these concepts so this is the course content which i am going to cover in our course okay and the duration is of 40 days and the course fees is of 6000 as you know right so this is about the course content now let's just start our you know as i said uh, yesterday is our first demo but uh, we only got one student there uh, i mean chatrika you already uh, attended yesterday's demo once again as we got so many students today i'll just try to 
formatting of worksheets and dashboard of course Sandeep whenever we are creating dashboards how we will format that we will learn okay so let me just cover once again uh, the demo part I'll start explaining everything once again so all right so as I said to learn Tableau, we need to uh, have some uh, knowledge or I can say we need to, to become any sort of Tableau developer or data analyst. We need to have good knowledge on SQL as well. So for that reason, whatever concepts, at least we need to know to create, to learn Tableau that all concepts, some uh, basic concepts I can say, we will cover that basic concepts of SQL Server also along with the Tableau, right? So let's see, as you know, what is Tableau in the sense, obviously it is a visualization tool, right? By using which we'll just connect to any data and we will just try to create some graphs over there, right? Of course, I'm, I'm starting from the beginning only. That is what I'm doing. That's great, thank you. So I just shown you what is the course content we are just going to cover, right? Now let's just cover everything from start. So whatever I explained yesterday, once again, I'm explaining it today also, okay? So basically let's just start with the understanding of what Tableau is. As we know, Tableau is a kind of visualization tool by using which we will create some graphs. We will visualize our data so that it uh, whatever by creating some graphs only, we can able to create, we can be able to get the good insights from the data, which helps uh, nowadays in every business, uh, data analyst or Tableau developer is required because you know, every business, whatever we will do, all the businesses they will do, maybe for example, let's, let's uh, um, you know, everyone will do the business to gain some profits only, right? Obviously, so to understand their business data, to understand, you know, how, what kind of measures should they take to increase their, you know, sales to get the profits more. Everyone needs a data analyst or everyone needs a Tableau developer, any kind of visualization. As we know, there are so many visualization tools in the market, but mostly everyone is using either Tableau or Power BI as you know, right? So, in every company, this Tableau or data analyst won't stick to one domain. In, it is useful in every single domain, right? Uh, it may be banking, it may be, you know, uh, it may be any e-commerce websites, it may be any uh, mechanical field, even it can be any pharmacy field. It, it, is, it is just not stick to any one field. Every field, this is data science and data analytics is useful, right? So, because as we know everywhere we will just work with the data so to understand their business data to analyze their data uh, a data analyst or a tableau developer is required that is what we will do basically we will connect to their data we will create some we will just analyze their data we will create some graphs accordingly by our analyzations only we will just try to give their you know some kind of insights and accordingly they will take some measures to increase their profits that is what it's happening right so, now let's, before starting, let's try to understand what is visualizations and what is the importance of visualization. So as we know, just imagine that I uh, suppose I gave you uh, one book in which there is one story. Suppose if I ask you to understand that story and to understand that story, we need to write some, we need to read some four to five pages in that. And imagine we are having that story in the form of paragraphs. Okay, so to understand that story, either we had two options, we need to read that book where we are having four pages in that we are having some paragraphs or else the other option is that we are having some two minutes video or some video by watching that uh, video in that video also the complete story is present. So by watching that two minutes video also we can able to understand the story. So what one we will prefer reading that book or watching video? Obviously watching video, right? Because, you know, 
to understand the story easier to understand whatever basically human brains reacts to videos faster right so instead of reading or instead of understanding some boring text or numbers if we can understand everything by visually then it will be more impactful we, we can understand them and we can you know for example if we are taking the so story example only instead of reading some boring you know book or to understand the story if we can just visualize or if we can just see any video we can understand it very easily and quickly right that is the importance of visuals let's see how that is important in the data as well as you can see here this is a screenshot of one excel file in which i'm i'm having all my employee details for example employee name employee number and salary okay so if i show you this picture and if we wanted to say if we are asked to say what is the highest salary of uh, employees we are here basically we are having some 37 rows so if i ask you to tell, if i ask you to tell me the employee name who is having you know highest salary and lowest salary of course we can answer of course if we have big data also we can apply some filters in uh, excel level and we can answer but still instead of understanding the data like this if we try to understand the data in this way this is the screenshot of tableau uh, okay this is one of the graph called as bar graph here uh, bar, this bar, the same data the same employee data i just instead of this i created this graph out of that data only here if i say what however bars are there you know the biggest bar is indicating the highest salary and the smallest bar is indicating the lowest salary if i just say do you like that if we know that concept how much data we have also we can just able to answer it very quickly if anyone is asking now what is the highest salary and what is the lowest salary within few seconds we can able to understand right because biggest bar wherever we are seeing the 60,000 that employee names is having the highest salary and wherever we are seeing the lowest bars that is the lowest salary right easily we can analyze and easily we can able to give our answers by using this kind of visualizations right that is the first basic understanding of and or else I can say this is the importance of visualizations. We can analyze the data and we can come to any conclusions very easily and quickly. Correct. So next we are having some features of ta Tableau. Uh, I will discuss that also. But before that, uh, let me discuss about the Tableau products, whatever we are having. Okay, so just before that, uh, whoever came like Srikant, Sandeep and Shilpa, could you please tell me about yourselves in a while? Uh, you know, are you from IT background or non-IT background? Or are you a student or any employee like that? Do you have some knowledge on SQL? Something about you? Yeah, so basically, uh, I'm, I am Sandeep, I am working in an IT firm, and I work in Tableau itself Okay. for a few months, but uh, a few of the things I was, simple things I could do, but some complex thing, it makes me I difficult for formatting and blending relationship, it means real-time prob problem, <clears throat> when we work, it becomes difficult sometimes to understand and Oh, oh. Correct. Uh, so, especially you want uh, some kind of advanced concepts, right? Yeah, advanced concepts uh, as well as in the basic also sometimes I got stuck. So, that's why I just Correct. wanted to ha have a refresher and work on some real-time uh, things. Okay, okay. I got because, it. Because in company, we don't get so much time to do. Correct. Uh, to explore all the uh, things, yes. right? Right. Yes, right. Perfect. So, what about uh, you, Shrikant or Shilpa? Uh, hi, Diva. Hi. So, uh, so I am also working in IT firm actually, okay. and supporting uh, Tableau in the production. So, uh, okay. deployed many dashboards in the production, uh, okay. which is developed by developer, and having some basic knowledge uh, uh, in the Tableau uh, also while creating, but not in deep. Okay. Okay. All right, I got it. Thank you. Uh, Shilpa? All right, that is fine. So, okay. 
no problem shilpa sure sure no problem so i'll just i'm just asking you this thing because in every batch i do so because so that i can understand you know whether are you that's okay shilpa so whether i can understand you know are you so suppose in every of my batch in each of my batch how i will get some mixed students i will get some students from non it background as well because you know uh, data tableau developer or data analyst is one such field even that is you know uh, for non it developers also i mean for non it people also uh, as tableau or any data analysis is used in every domain so many uh, non it graduates is also trying to you know if they are if they want to transit their career into it background tableau is one such tool which helps them to do so very easily so that is the reason i'll ask to make sure to make to first of all to make me understand to get clarity that are you having some you know basics about sql or not first thing and so that depending I mean, according to that students i will just of course whatever i'll teach everything i'll teach from the scratch um, i will teach some basics of sql also uh, that just to get that idea i'm asking uh, to just introduce about yourselves okay all right let's just continue and let's just this is about the tableau products first we have first let's just discuss about the tableau products so as i said not only tableau desktop we are having this many products from tableau okay tableau desktop is the place where we will create all the graphs or visualizations okay so once we are done with the demo classes i will show you the installation process of tableau desktop and we will start creating all the graphs very practically okay along with the tableau desktop we are having this many products from tableau so let's see what is uh, each product uh, is about okay so as i said tableau server is one product okay as i said tableau server is used by administrators we will have so many admin options in tableau server along with that we developers will also whenever we are will uh, will work in any uh, companies we will have our own tableau server you know we will be having our own account details we can use tableau server how you know how we will use the tableau desktop all that operations all that thing we can basically do all the visualizations in the tableau server level also along with that for admin people accordingly we will have some admin options also over there so we will we can do, able to do so many functionalities in tableau server so i will teach tableau server also in our course at that time i will show you very practically what we can do inside tableau server okay along with that we'll have a one more product called as tableau online nowadays we will you know previously we used to call it as tableau online only we need to create a tableau online account but this uh, nowadays we are calling it as tableau cloud okay we need to create of, of course we'll create an online account only by using tableau cloud okay once we create one our own account by using that at credentials only we will just try to publish once we create any workbooks or dashboards whenever we want to publish by using that cred credentials only we will publish our workbooks to the tableau server everything we will see very practically in our course i will explain we will we will deal with this tableau server also how we will create online accounts how we will create our own cloud account and how we will publish our workbooks to the tableau server and what are all options we have in tableau server like we are having so many concepts like maybe uh, schedules suppose imagine i created one workbook and i wanted to share that workbook uh, maybe on the daily basis or uh, maybe on the weekly basis to my client or whatever it is so at that time instead of sending the same graph same worksheet or same dashboard again and again i can create something called as schedule in tableau server okay so i'll just select the dashboard and i'll give the gmail id i mean i'll give the ids uh, or I'll, I'll i'll use the usernames to whom i want to send and i can create a schedule that is i can create a frequency over there like on which days i wanted to send suppose if i want to send daily from monday to friday at one particular time i'll just select that i'll select the time and i'll create a schedule so by default daily uh, automatically tableau server only send that file at that you know selected time it will send automatically instead of sending again and again we will just create schedules not only that we can do uh, you know like uh, some something like you know schedules we will have one option called as schedules by using that we can 
do everything automatically so how we will create schedules and we'll have some options called as alerts and we will have as i said we are we'll having something called as site roles in tableau server everything we will discuss very detailly in this classes okay whenever we are covering tableau server and tableau online next we are having one more product called as tableau public as you know tableau desktop is a uh, you know freely available for only 14 days we'll have 14 days free trial for tableau desktop for 14 days we can access tableau desktop for free uh, after that if we want to use tableau desktop actually in every batch i suggest uh, this same thing uh, okay for students actually the tableau desktop is available for free for one year okay so i suggest to you know in my course for all of my students that if you can able to get any student id maybe from your friends or family if you can able to get any student id it was not like only we need to get some graduate ids only uh, maybe from intermediate not for the basic you know up to uh, maybe from intermediate for any degree student any uh, B.Tech student, any graduate student, whoever it is, if you have any anyone, any one friend or a family, if you can get their student ID card, we will uh, will have one website. We I will show you how to you know basically we will to, we will we will upload that student ID card in that website and we will uh, do uh, once we registered as a student we will get one product key to our mail by using that product key we will use this Tableau desktop freely for one year this is the process which everyone will follow uh, so if you can get the student IDs I will show you this process how we can do so till that time we can you we can install the Tableau desktop with the free trial for within for, for 14 days you can use that within that 14 days if you can get that student id we will install uh, that process and from that date you can access Tableau desktop freely for one year this is the easiest way actually which we will follow okay again we were having one more product called as Tableau public here also we can create our graphs and visualizations uh, this is freely available for everyone but the concept here is we will have something called as data sources in Tableau that is you know we know that to create any graphs first of all we need data right so we will connect to any data or database then only we will create the graphs right and the data can be in any form suppose it can be in the form of excel file right it can be in the form of text file it can be in the form of pdf or else it can be in the form of any database or server usually in real time also we will connect to our clients database and we will work right it can be mysql it can be sql server like that we are having so many databases so each one of this that is excel file text file database whatever we are having each file formats or each one we will call it as data source okay we will just call it as data source that is we will connect to any one of the data source first and you know this like suppose excel file if we are connecting to excel file to create the graphs excel file is called as a data source okay so like that we are have we are having so many data sources available in tableau desktop but in tableau public we will we won't have this many options we don't have any database options we can only connect to excel file we have so many limitations uh, in the tableau public if you oh, suppose for example for practice purpose if you once your trial version is done if you didn't get any student id you can use tableau public and you can create all the graphs whatever uh, functionalities we will use in tableau desktop everything will can be done in tableau public only but main two options only won't available in tableau public that limit limitations are all the data sources are not available you cannot able to connect to any of the database there you can only connect to excel files and you can practice and once you are done you again you are an, uh, once you create any dashboard or workbook you cannot save that workbook in your uh, local machines in your laptops okay that is a problem with the tableau public uh, but remaining everything will be same for practice purpose we can use tableau public but whatever graphs we will create that graphs uh, we, we can't download or we can't save that in our missions okay uh, this is about the tableau public this is freely available but we have some limitations in it okay so generally maybe if anyone are you know whatever we will do whatever work we will do in the tableau public that will be you know uh, saved 
to the Tableau community. I mean, that is completely saved to the cloud. Everyone can able to visible whatever work we are done. Uh, that is visible to everyone, to the Tableau community, to the cloud like that. Uh, it will save in the uh, online only. Like, you know, mostly Tableau public, not only for practice purposes, it will be used by any, uh, you know, I can say journalists or bloggers if they want to post any interactive, uh, you know, any news, in, a, in the form of graphs, they will use Tableau Public. Okay. So this is about one product we have. Tableau Server we are done. Online we are done. Next, we have one more product called as Tableau Reader. What that does in the sense, this is just, you know, what if we have any files, if we save any workbooks in the Tableau Reader, how suppose in any lab, in our laptops or computers, if we're having any Excel file or text file, how we will just access that files like without anyone's permission, even without internet, whenever we want, we can just open that and access that Excel files, right? In the same way, whatever workbooks are saved in the Tableau Reader, this is one product that is freely available for everyone. Every Anyone can just easily access that files uh, even if without anyone's permissions and sometimes even without internet also they can access okay uh, this is this is actually we don't use this much but as we are having one product i'm just explaining you okay in our in our uh, course i will cover tableau desktop tableau server how to create tableau online account next important one more product we are having that is tableau prep Tableau prep is nothing but as I said, that is a kind of preparatory tool by using which we will clean our data. It will just performs. It is a kind of ETL tool, I can say. ETL is nothing but extraction, transformation, and loading, right? So we will see how many uh, functionalities are there in the Tableau prep. Basically, how we will clean our data. Everything we will learn practically. Uh, in this class, we, I will show you the installation process of Tableau Prep, and then we will learn everything practically. Okay, so this, uh, the, this are all the products we are going to cover: Tableau Desktop, and this three, in our course. Okay, so this is about the Tableau products. I hope I'm clear. Next, we are having Tableau features also, but uh, let's just discuss this maybe in tomorrow's class, okay? So let's discuss that later. For now, I'll just open my Tableau desktop and let's just try to understand the user interface of Tableau, okay? So once we are done with the demo classes, I will show you, uh, you know, the installation process of Tableau desktop as well as the installation process of SQL Server also. Okay, so once I open the Tableau desktop, I can see something called as connect towards the left side, right? This is nothing but a connect panel. I can uh, I can say it as so in this connect panel only we will have, as I said, uh, to create any graphs, we will uh, connect any data. We want data first of all. After connecting to data only, we we can able to create some graphs and we can able to visualize something, right? So these are all the available data sources in the Tableau. As I said, the data can be in the form of Excel file, it can be in the text file, it can be in the PDF, like that we are having so many options. We can connect from here. These are all the files available. If we click on more, it will just redirect to select any file from our laptops, okay? Then we are having something called as 2S server, or like this we'll having its Oracle Microsoft SQL server. If I click on more, we are having so many options available here. These are all the available databases or servers from which we can connect uh, to the Tableau. Okay. So this one, whatever we are seeing, basically we'll call them as a data sources. Okay. Next towards the bottom left, we are having something called as saved data source that is sample superstore and walled indicators. This is actually provided by Tableau for free to for practice purpose. I can say this is the data sources for if you want to practice, you can just connect to them and you can um, practice okay you can create any graphs and next in the center we are having something called as open whatever uh, recently open tableau graphs or dashboards will be like we can i can able to uh, that uh, recently opened files will be visible here basically okay towards the right we will have something called as discover we can ignore that if we get any uh, updates from the tableau community we can able to show that uh, we can able to see that resources links here okay so this is about the first page let's just connect to any of at the top you can see tableau server 
from here also we can connect to tableau server okay so next let's just connect to any of the file and let's create some first graph today so maybe for the first i'll connect to microsoft excel i just uh, connected to excel file here maybe i'll connect it to i'll connect to sample superstore data i'm clicking on open okay so if i open the sample superstore Mm. One second, guys. I'm just opening the same file in my uh, system in my laptop. I can say this is furniture actually, sample superstore. So you can see this is the Excel file. Okay, we are having three sheets here. That is orders, people, and returns. We are having three sheets. In orders, I'm having this many columns and this many rows. Okay. So I just connected to the same file to the Tableau. So here, as you saw in Excel file, as we are having three sheets, those three sheets is... Uh, we can able to see here orders people and returns and it is showing me once i connected to the excel file this is the page i got in the tableau uh, desktop you can see this we will just basically call this as a data source level you can find here as towards the bottom left data source in the data source level we, it will just show us the connections to what file we got connected and what is the file name next we will if we connect to the excel file it will show the sheets available if we connect it to any of the databases or sub databases basically in this here in this option we can able to select the particular database from that tool i will show you in tomorrow's class for now let's just concentrate on the excel file these are all the sheets available for me right so suppose i want my i want to analyze my order sheet so then what i'll do i'll just drag this orders and drop it here then i will get all the data whatever i we saw here in the order sheet the same data i got it here directly okay and if you can see here, I'm having something called as connection towards the top right. Okay. So basically, as I said, first of all, we need data to create any graphs. Okay. Suppose imagine that I have data in any of this database. This is my database. I have this data here. And imagine this is my Tableau desktop where I'm just creating some Tableau graphs. Okay. So this is a Tableau desktop. So I have data here. I need to create graphs here. So obviously there should be something which helps us to connect the data to the Tableau desktop, right? So that is, the, we, there should be something in between which helps us to connect the database or any kind of tab, data source to the Tableau desktop, right? That is called as Tableau connection, basically. We'll have something called as Tableau connection. This Tableau connection only helps us to connect our data to the Tableau desktops. Okay. Again, we are having two types of Tableau connections. That is one is live connection and the second one is extract connection. That is what you can see here. Okay. Basically, this connection only helps us to connect to our databases. Okay, so what is live connection? What is extract connection? In which scenarios we will use live connection and extract connection? We will learn practically in the Tableau connection class. We will have separate concept for, to learn this Tableau connection. By default, we will connect to the live connection only. In which scenarios we will use extract connection? We will learn at that time. Okay, so as you can see here, I didn't did I didn't selected anything. Once I selected the graph or sheet actually not graph once i collect once i just dragged this sheet automatically i was in live connection i'm in live connection right automatically by default we will be in the live connection only sometimes we will use extract connection what is this extract and in which scenarios we will use we will discuss it later okay so this is about the connections part and here you can see the data and if you observe this are the all the uh, columns which i'm having like row id order id or the date ship date and this is the rows here it is showing me uh, um, the row count okay so if you can observe here we are along with the column names you can able to see some symbols here right 
like hash abc kind of thing so we know that if we store any data in the sql or in the sql level or in any database we will just store the data in the form of tables right like rows and columns this will be suppose row id is one column like order id is one column order date is one column and these are all the rows available so whenever we are storing data in the form of tables in sql for each and every column we will define the data type right data type is something which by using the data types only we will understand what kind of values we need to enter in that column correct this is the uh, i hope i'm clear guys if you have any questions or if you have if you have any doubts you can just ask me and if you can able to understand please respond to me so that i will understand it is clear for you okay so we know about data types right whenever we declare any tables in whenever we are creating any tables in that tables we will define the data types and we will define data types manually only in sql sql level but in tableau here tableau is very smart enough once we just connected to our data tableau automatically recognizes the data types here and this is the symbols of the data types basically we will have uh, you know mainly we will have uh, what do you call numerical data type right where we will store all the numbers and the symbol is hash here wherever you can see hash that indicates that you know in tableau wherever we will see hash we need to understand that is a numerical data type next we are having something called as character or string data type where we will store all the character values and abc is a symbol to indicate the like this abc is a symbol wherever you see abc you need to understand the data type is of character okay next we have date data type where we will can able to see the dates where we can able to for, store the date values and the symbol is calendar likewise we will have one more data type that is geographical data type where we will store some location kind of thing and the symbol is globe we can able to see some kind of globe symbol i'll show you that also okay just a second this are all the we will have see globe symbols you can see here for city column state column this is some geographical locations data right like that so see for product for profit sales we are having hash hash indicates numerical data type like that we are not doing anything here tableau is very smarter once we just get our data it automatically recognizes the data types and it displays like this okay so towards the left side also it is just showing us table one table in that it is just showing us the data types and the field names available okay so now this is about the data source level this is what we will we can have to create the sheets we need to go to the sheet level that is we are having one option called as sheet one i'm just clicking here so this is a pay, this is a canvas i can say where we will create the graphs okay we, to create the graphs we need to go to the sheet level and towards the left side you can see the all the column names which we have in this data right we are connected to orders uh, sheet that is what it is showing here also uh, in the sheet level towards the top it is showing uh, i connect this is the data source symbol it is showing me i connected to orders of sample superstore and below tables it is showing me all the fields available whatever column names i'm having all the list of the field names or column names it is showing me here okay and we will have something called as rows and column here when once we drag our column names to this part then only we can able to create the graphs okay and next we are having something called as marks card uh, filters card and pages filters and marks card accordingly we will use whenever we want to apply filters we will use this filters card and once we create the graph if we want to change the color we will use we are having some settings here we will discuss very detailly going forward also if you want to change the color we will use this color part if you want to change the size we will use this size and if you want to enable some text to that graph we will use this text part like that okay first let's try to understand about this so you can see all the columns i'm having here but if you observe carefully there is a kind of separation in this i'm having some separate line here right i'm having some kind of line so basically all my field names or all my column names are divided into two parts the first part is called as dimension okay and the second part is called as measure okay what is dimension and what is measure in the sense to for clear understanding i can say all the numerical columns comes under measures 
whatever just now we saw whatever data types we are having mostly we will deal with this four data types that is numerical data type character data type date data type and geographical data type right so all the numerical columns you can see one kind of line one kind of separation is there right after that i can able to see this uh, this columns so this is called as measures part all the numerical columns will come under measures okay and remaining every data type it can be character it can be geographical it can be date remaining every data type comes under dimension just to understand in a easy way we will uh, you know we will uh, think like this you know we will we can just consider as all the numerical columns comes under measures and remaining every other data type data comes under dimensions but to be frank if you want me to tell the correct definition of what is dimension and measures what that means in the sense for all the columns on whatever columns we can able to perform some kind of calculations okay or else on all the columns on whatever columns we can able to perform aggregate functions calculations in the sense it can be any arithmetic calculation like plus if we can add anything if we can subtract anything if we can able to find some percentages out of that data or else aggregate functions in the sense we have some aggregate functions in sql that is some like uh, some minimum maximum count average those are all the aggregate functions which we have right going forward also we will discuss detail but all those functions uh, are called as aggregate functions suppose if i can able to create some calculations or aggregate functions on whatever columns i can able to do that all that columns comes under measures obviously for num mostly for numerical columns only we can able to create calculations or aggregate functions right that is the reason indirectly we will uh, think like you know all the numerical columns comes under dimensions okay remaining all the columns if on whatever columns we cannot perform this type of calculations or aggregations all that com columns comes under dimensions okay that is about dimensions and measures here i hope i'm clear okay let's just see this is dimensions and this is measures so first to create graphs towards the right side you can see something called as show me panel here we are having some 24 inbuilt great we are having some 24 inbuilt graphs available in the show me panel okay so these are all the inbuilt graphs for now all the graphs are disabled once i select the you know once i select the uh, columns here once i select some fields here that related graphs only will be enabled for us let's see suppose if i want to create some subcategory wise sales i'm having subcategory here i'm just i can either there are two ways to create the graph the traditional way is that i just drag the subcategory and drop it in the rows part one graph is enabled for me that is for this data only this graph is uh, applicable okay if you can see whenever i'm keeping my cursor or whenever i'm moving my cursor at the bottom it is showing me the details like if i'm keeping the cursor here at the bottom it is showing me that graph is called as text table and one dimension is required one measure is required to create that graph likewise it will show all the details and the prerequisites to create that graphs here so i just selected subcategory and i got this graph if i want sales i'll drag the sales and drop it in the columns part then we got some more graphs enabled right all these graphs whatever enabled all that graphs will be applicable for this data so like this we need to you know whatever however we want to analyze suppose here i said that i want to analyze subcategory wise sales that is the reason i used subcategory and sales here accordingly i can select the graphs this is one way or else directly here i'm having an option for clearing the sheet i'm just clearing everything so either not only dragging and dropping just by double clicking also i can select if i double click sub category i got this if i double click sales again i got my sales if i select this graph i got it i got the graph right even with the double clicks also we can just select the fields and we can select the graphs creating graphs is very easy here just we need to understand you know Uh, for what kind of data which type of graph to create and there are so many functionalities here we need to understand each one of that okay 
suppose i created first as uh, this is our first graph i just created a, a horizontal bar so this is a subcategory names i'm having and this is the sales i'm having okay so if i want to display the text here beside the bar i'm having t option here i can just click that it will just show me the sales beside the bars if i'm just keeping my cursor obviously I, it is showing me subcategory and sales this is called as tooltip whatever i can able to see that small box okay uh, instead of if i'm keeping the cursor only it is showing me that details suppose without moving any cursor if i want to see the sales also beside the bar then i selected this t option okay that is label we will call it as label and next if i wanted to change the color to my graph what i can do if i want to give each subcategory name one one color then i'll just drag subcategory to the color part then i got the color like this okay if i just click this show me button towards uh, below that i will have something called as legend we will call this as legend here it will show us the details like how many subcategories are there and each subcategory what is the color used like that so even i can sort my data we are having two symbols here to sort the data if i want to sort it in the descending order i will just click this symbol then i got the data in the descending order if i click this symbol i can got the data in my ascending order accordingly we can do even we can swap rows and columns also by uh, we are having option here swap rows and columns that is we will interchange them just a second guys so like this we, can, we will just we can swap it if we want entire view i'll just select here entire view and i can get the graph like this this is just a basic graph okay uh, and as this is our first demo i just gave some introduction uh, please uh, we actually we are done with the time okay please connect in tomorrow's class also in this uh, the, that will be our second demo i'll just continue i'll explain some more concepts tomorrow so that you will get so much of clarity okay uh, do you have any doubts for now as the time is done i'm just ending for now for now we are having so many options and we will we will see basically maybe tomorrow we will see how we will connect to sql server and remaining options we will learn tomorrow great if you have any doubts you can ask me or else i'll end the session i know tomorrow is saturday but as this is demo class let's just connect tomorrow uh that will be our last demo or uh, if you uh, like my uh you know uh subject or if you like my the way of my explanation you can get registered tomorrow will be the last demo class whoever get registered for them they will get the new zoom link and from monday we can start our actual classes okay all right guys if everything is okay in the session please respond Okay. Great. Let's meet tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye.